there is a quote by Nisargadatta Maharaj, and I'll read that out. It says, freedom means letting go. People just do not care to let go of everything. They do not know that the finite is the price of the infinite, as death is the price of immortality. Spiritual maturity lies in the readiness to let go of everything. The giving up is the first step, but the real giving up is in realizing that there is nothing to give up, for nothing is your own. So this is a profound statement that the, the more people try to let go of things, they get more entangled in trying to let go, right? So yeah. they're trying yeah. different techniques and different methods, <clears throat> different ways, practices to let go. And they're like, I, they, they're like, I want detachment, detachment. And um, I think we have also contemplated on that, that the dualistic opposite is not the solution. The solution to the problem of attachment, the mind that sees attachment as a problem and then comes up with an, with an illusory solution, that detachment is the solution for the problem of attachment. That mind is the troubling mind. So what essentially we are doing is we are letting go we're trying to letting go of our attachment using detachment. <laughs> yeah. And that's exactly. and that's what Nisargadatta Maharaj here, here says that the real realizing is that there is nothing to give up because nothing is ever your own. So when we realize that there is nothing that is ever our own, what is there to give up? What is there to detach from? Right? Yeah. So one accepts the flow of life. And even when the attachments happen, one accepts that, that the attachments are happening and not try to find a solution to it, but just try to realize that there is nothing to give up at all. Because isn't it true that when in our, I mean, at least in my experience, I don't know about you, but when we uh, resist a perceived attachment, if, we, if we're like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to become attached to this uh, person, this place, this thing in my life. And then the resistance actually, so then there's that knee jerk that you were saying, you called it deep, trying, trying too hard to detach. And then it's like the, the initial attachment actually kind of blows up into this uh, even stronger fo force or perceive it perceivingly yeah. so. And obsession and uh can become an obsession yeah too. or compulsion or impulse Compulsive. like it's mm. all of that can happen and uh th instead of just uh accepting that maybe that's that's something that's going on inside of us what right now yeah and letting it letting it be exactly. as long as it's not harming you know yeah yeah in fact that's what maharaj <laughs> That's what Maharaj says here. He said that he says that spiritual maturity lies in the readiness to let go of everything. So it's it's pretty clear that attachment, let's say my attachment to something, to my idea of um, wealth, money, relationship, or anything it could be, that my idea about that is is creating problems. And first, that awareness itself is it it comes from spiritual maturity. That is the first step. Second step is to realize that there is nothing to let go of, that all of these ideas were never mine. The idea of attaining wealth, a good relationship, yeah. they were never mine. This was, this was all given to me by the society, by the yeah. people outside, because people always told us, must have the perfect relationship, must have the perfect life, must have everything perfect, perfect, ace, right? And then you are the best on top. So all this idea creates the character, the imaginary character, which is an epitome of perf perfection, which does not exist in real life. So when yeah. I when I accept that all my relationships are going to be flawed to some extent, and that my, my financial situation will be in turmoil at times in life, because that's the nature of life. And nothing is ever going to go smooth forever. And then this whole idea of trying to detach from the other goes away because then there is no other so how do i detach from something that was not even 
mine in the first place. This, you see, this drops everything instantaneously. It just drops yeah. because you yeah. stop trying. You stop trying, trying to detach. And there are so many teachings out there which, which give this message that just let go and you'll be free. But nobody tells how to let go because there is no way to let go. In fact, yeah. trying, trying to letting go is, is grasping to the idea of letting go. <laughs> I don't know if that and makes sense. It does because I've seen it backfire, as we yeah. say. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that's because of that force, at least that's how I see it. It's because it was, it, was it was trying too hard, it was forced. Yeah. Don't, haven't you observed this? That the moment we try to free ourselves from something, trying to letting go of an idea, it grasps us even more. It holds us yeah. even tighter. It's like up till now I was okay. Okay, maybe I was, I was <laughs> yeah. smoking, I was drinking. Now I'm trying to let go of my smoking and drinking and I find myself now obsessing about it because I'm trying yeah. to let go of it. So it's, yeah. it's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing thing. And Maharaj here, here says that there is nothing to let go of and that is, that is true freedom. That is true freedom. And, you know, nothing Nothing is really ours in a permanent sense anyway. I don't know if that's something that came up for you too when you were listening to this quote, but um, everything has, if we, if we really think about it, so much of our lives are temporary and even the things that we think are permanent can be, I think things can change in an instant. And so how much of it is within our control really and so, therefore, how much of it is actually ours to claim? It's interesting to think nothing. about. Nothing. There's nothing to claim. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yes, you know, and um, we have come up with a course, which is, uh, it's not a course, it's, it's, a, it's a group exploration, uh, which is taking place next month. So, anybody who's interested in uh, exploring that space with us, we're going to cover a lot of topics like spontaneity, awakening, and shame and guilt, and much more. And all that, um, all that comes to is exploring how to live peacefully, how to navigate this life structure peacefully, and using wisdom of these masters. So if anybody wants to be a part of that exploration, there is a, uh, they can click the link in the description box, and there is a registration form and page that mentions everything, all the program details. So if you want to join, you know, anybody who wants to join can join that. And I think that will be an interesting journey. Yeah, us together. Sure. And there's no, there's no yeah. teacher. There's no teacher here. There's no somebody trying to teach anything to anybody. It's a group exploration. So your ideas are welcome. And we will be sharing our ideas. And uh, it will be interactive. It will be, um, there will be question, question and answers and all Everything is casual. There is no formal setup. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. 